All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. Today I have Chef Jesse Houston, known as the Overland Chef in the shop. On his Tacoma, he has a Linsun solar panel. Had it on there for a few years. It's got some uh, deterioration, some wear. So we're gonna be swapping it over to the Cascadia 4x4, the creators of this style panel. And there really are some quality differences between the two. We'll talk about a few of those. We'll show you a few of them uh, throughout the video. I'll go ahead and have Jesse tell you guys a little bit about why we're making this switch. The solar panel for the hood has been a very important modification for me. Mm -hmm. I've had the Lensen solar on there for almost two years. Um, I run refrigerators constantly. I have more than one. And so it's it's good peace of mind to know that, you know, when I'm just parked in a location for a few days, I'm not going to be draining the battery. Yeah. Um, however, this panel has really started to come apart. It's uh, started slowly delaminating uh, around the edges, and then those, and then very quickly after that, it yeah. started, you know, just coming Worked apart. Towards the yeah, yeah. In, in really big panels, like inches wide. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the uh, just the input that it's receiving just kind of diminished slowly and then the, for the first time ever i was noticing that my draw um on my battery was actually you higher know, than your input yeah much higher and yeah. that was that was a, a deal breaker for me yeah. so i had to switch the panels for sure. yeah there's yeah. pretty much no time that you're not using your fridge oh yeah right? like they're running you're cooking for dozens yeah. of people at a time minimum yeah throughout you know on a weekly monthly mm -hmm. basis on all these trips you go on so yep. You have at least one fridge running at all times. Yeah, and then oftentimes I have two or three, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's but, a lot of power, plus charging <laughs> all your other equipment, yep. and charging all your lights, and doing all that other stuff, mm -hmm. you know, so that when it is nighttime out and you don't have that solar, you have all your lights to run, so. Yep. It's a, it's a must-do mod for anyone, really. It needs yeah. to be up there at the top of your list um, for anyone that's running lights or accessories, yeah. period. I tend to tell people that if you're not looking to spend two to three thousand dollars it takes to jump into a dual battery system this is an amazing first modification you pair a good agm battery like the full throttle that you're mm -hmm. running now with a solar panel from cascadia 4x4 and for you know right around or under a thousand dollars depending on your vehicle you have a much more solid foundation to run your fridge all day you know many people their hobbies uh, aren't just off-roading like as in you your yeah. cooking is you know your your real passion and off-roading mm -hmm. with many of us is a side project for that or a side hobby so the mountain bikers the fishermen the guys that are going hiking and backpacking you're not running your truck all day long and so you really do need solar and a larger battery bank just with an yeah. agm battery to yeah. help mitigate all the power draw that you sure. have while and, you're away from your vehicle. And many times when I'm running the fridge, I'm cooking at night. You know, I also am running yeah. uh, camp lights uh, around the truck, you know, all yeah. those, um, the rock lights and things like that yeah. to be able to see, see lights. So when it gets dark, you really do need that power to be mm -hmm. topped off. You can't yeah. be trickling down throughout the day because right. you're parked there. So, no. It makes a lot of sense and that's why we're changing today. As many of you guys know, solar panels can be super finicky with a little bit of sun or a tiny bit of shade covering part of the panel. It really doesn't work well. So when these panels start to delaminate, these soft panels like what's on the hood with the lens sun and even the Cascadia is mm -hmm. this way, if those start to delaminate, you lose a significant portion of your solar charging and you're going from 85 watts to 20 before you know it with a fridge pulling what 50, 60 watts most of the time you're not in a positive state of charge and you're starting to lose charge. It's going to be bad quick as yep. you've unfortunately had to experience yep. over the past couple months. So mm -hmm. yeah, so let's go ahead, get this new solar panel on, take this old one off. I have a feeling it's going to be a pain, but <laughs> we'll get it done. We'll see. Can we go back? This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like this. All right, so we're getting this thing pried up, and it's not the easiest to come off with the uh, super strong industrial tape Jesse went and purchased to put it on, so we're gonna go ahead and put some heat on this guy. Start getting it removed.
I had the uh, lens and solar panel first. Um, this has actually been on the truck for uh, almost two years, year and a half. Um, it's actually served me well for the purpose. Um, with all of the cooking I do, all of the refrigerators that I carry with me, um, keeping my battery topped off has been a priority since the, the build started. So it served its purpose, but it quickly started delaminating. Um, and once it did that, it ex at an accelerated pace, just really started coming apart, as you can see here. Looks like almost like dead skin uh, coming off the solar panel, big gaps. Um, and then I wasn't getting as much uh, of the wattage, kind of the exchange rate to my battery uh, wasn't performing as well as it used to. So we're swapping it out for the Cascadia 4x4 panel, um, which has got a good reputation for build quality and standing up to the elements. And so I'm excited to see how well this one does as I take it you know, from trip to trip all across the country this year. We've got a lot of things uh, planned, a lot of excursions, and uh, we'll be all over the place. So I really need that uh, all, as much as I can get power-wise out of it. So that's really important. I keep my refrigerator, uh, at least the one in the back on, literally 24 seven, run it for months on end. Um, there's really no need to, to power them off because I've always got product in there. So this helps me not drain my battery immediately. All right guys, so we got the solar panel mounted, the wires ran, hooked up to the MPPT charger that comes with the Cascadia 4x4 solar panel kit. That's all in here, wired up to the fuse block on the Garmin, and Jesse's basically ready to go start cooking again. Fridges are rolling. The fridges are rolling. So we're gonna get this hood closed, wipe the truck down a little bit, and send him on his way. And today we are swapping out um, solar panel, um, sorry. And today we're swapping out solar hood panels, um, or sorry, I'll do that again. So what are we saying? Um, 